Hello, my name is Mitchell Herring, and I am an instructional designer at the Center for Teaching Excellence at the University of South Carolina. I am going to walk you through setting up your Blackboard gradebook today, including all of the options that are available in it. If you have additional questions following this presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out to an instructional designer at the CTE or a consultant with eLearning services for additional questions you may have with setting up or maintaining your gradebook. Whenever you access your gradebook, there are going to be four total views that you can have to look at the content of your gradebook. You can see an overview of your gradebook. This overview is going to include all assignments that need grading, as well as any graded assignments that still need to be posted to your students. You will also be able to see a gradable items view this view will allow you to see all of the items in your gradebook and will prioritize those items, including information such as their grading status and the due date. The grades view is a matrix view that will allow you to see both your students' progress, their current overall grade, in addition to all of the individual grade items. Here, you can sort the grade items from ascending to descending based off of students, as well as set filters to help search your gradebook. This can be helpful if you're working in a merged course and you want to see the progress of specific students in sections that have been merged. Finally, the students view will allow you to look at each individual student and their progress in the course. You can see data from this view including their student activity, progress, and their activity log. And if a student has accommodations, you can review those accommodations here, as well as assign accommodations. If the student has accommodations you have yet to establish in your course, setting your accommodations will apply to all of the assessments in a course to which those accommodations could be applied to. To set up your overall grade to ensure that your grades are being calculated, you should access the cogwheel in the top right hand corner to click on the settings for your gradebook. Here you can manage the schema and ensure that your grades are being calculated appropriately and represent the actual letter grades that you plan on assigning to students as well as set up and manage your overall grade settings. When setting up your overall grade, you will be able to select whether or not you are using a points or a weighted gradebook. This should correlate with however it is that you set up your grading calculation in your syllabus. For points, your gradebook will be set out of the total points in all of the gradable items in your course. You should decide whether or not you would like for your overall grade to be viewable as points, percentages, or letters whenever you go to set up this gradebook. And you can also review the different categories that are being assigned to each of the gradable items through this view. By default, Blackboard comes with several grade categories that you cannot remove from your gradebook, but you can exclude. For example, Blackboard comes with exams, tests, journals, homework, forms, attendance, discussions, and assignments. These categories have a running total based out of the total points that each grade item in that category is worth or if you would like for those items to be calculated individually and not a part of a category, you can unlink those items from the categories in the gradebook. These out of points are the points that are assigned to a grade item whenever it is created. So whenever you create a quiz, for example, if it is scored out of 100, that is how many points it is assigned in your gradebook. If you want to modify those points, you will have to go into the actual grade item itself to modify them. This is especially helpful if you are using a weighted gradebook. 
whenever you create a weighted gradebook, all of the categories are based off of a given percentage, and you will need to assign the categories those percentages. For example, if assignments are 20% of your overall grade, then you will need to manually enter 20 here for the gradebook to include that percentage in its calculations. Your gradebook will require that all of your percentages equal out to 100% in order for it to be saved and displayed to your students. If you would like for specific grade items to not be included in a category and instead to be weighted by themselves, you can unlink them as well. Additionally, you will be able to either have your grade items be weighted proportionally or equally in their categories. If you have those grade items weighed equally, then that means that every item underneath the category is weighted the same. So this flip grid assignment is weighted the same as the course agreement form. However, if those items are weighted differently within a category, I can have them weighted proportionally. Whenever I have them weighted proportionally, this flip grid intro is weighted significantly less than the course agreement form. To change these proportions, I would need to go into the grade item and change that out of grade that I previously discussed. When you are done creating your gradebook, you should save, and now your gradebook will display an overall grade to your students. If you would like to add additional categories, you can do so from the settings and create a new category that you can use to assign your assignments and quizzes and tests. It is recommended that you wait until your entire course has been built before you set up your gradebook because if an item is created on your content page, such as a quiz, assessment, or discussion, it will auto-populate in your gradebook. However, if there are assignments that you use to calculate in a grade, such as participation, and you need to create an individual item, you can do so from either the gradable items or grades menu, finding the plus button to create an item wherever you would like to add it, add an item, and assign that item a due date, how many points it's weighed out of, or the percentage, and its category, and you can manually enter those grades. If you also would like to keep a running total or have an average grade, such as like a midterm grade that you want shown to your students, you can add a calculation. From this menu, you can include an average, total, minimum from the functions and variables, as well as any operators. Whenever you create the functions and variables, you will be able to select the specific categories or individual course items you would like to be included in your calculation. And whenever that is completed, you can save and have a calculation in your gradebook that can be displayed to students. If you would like to delete one of these items that you have created, you can go to that grade item click the three dots, and delete it from here. You can also edit from that screen. From the gradable items view, you can also rearrange these items by clicking the up and down arrows and dragging them to wherever you would like for them to be displayed. This change will be reflected in the grades view as well, and also in the students view. So that is it for this overall view of the gradebook and setting up our gradebook. If you have further questions or need assistance, again, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Center for Teaching Excellence to have an instructional designer consult with you or reach out to eLearning Services if you have specific questions about technical aspects of your gradebook.